This setup is a complete 50 TPH mobile alluvial gold processing plant, including trommel scrubber, centrifugal concentrator, sluice box, shaking table, belt conveyor, spiral dewatering machine and dewatering screen. This is a complete system from feeding raw ore to get the final product, gold concentrate and including tailings water treatment, customer ore conditions requirement for plant, 1. Plant feeding capacity, 50 TPH, 2. Raw materials with a lot of clay. 3. Gold particle size. Fine gold 0.5 meters, 0.5 me part accounts for 80%. 4. The washing and separation part require mobile type. The detailed process flow as below. 1. Loader or excavator feeds raw ore to the hopper of the trommel scrubber. The hopper with a grizzly bar, gap 70 millimeters, above 70 millimeter are separated out directly. 2. Trommel scrubber with one layer PU screen, mesh size 5 mm, scrubber length 4 meters, screen length 2 meters. The scrubber body is used for washing clay, then washed materials go to screen for sieving out 0 0.5 mm above 5 mm. 3. Above 5 mm from the trommel scrubber are transported to far places by belt conveyor. 4. 0 0.5 mm from the trommel scrubber are sent to the centrifugal concentrator for capturing fine gold via slurry pump. Here the slurry pump also can be removed if the customer mine site can make enough high platform for placing trommel scrubber, so the 0 temel 5 mm can flow to the centrifugal concentrator by gravity. 5. The tailing from the centrifugal concentrator goes to two sets of sluice boxes for further recovering tailing gold aimed to increase gold recovery rate. 6. The concentrate from the centrifugal concentrator goes to the shaking table for further separation aimed to increase gold content. Please note the centrifugal concentrator and shaking table are designed at the same mobile trailer for easy movement. Each set mobile separation plant is 20 TPH capacity. 7. Finally, all gold concentrates are sent to a gold smelting furnace for purification, so that customers can get pure gold bars. 8. The tailings from shaking tables and sluice boxes will go to a spiral dewatering machine for dewatering first. 9. The coarse sand from the spiral dewatering machine will go to a dewatering screen for further dewatering, so the coarse sand can be transported away and the water can be separated and can be recycled again.